Thank you, Jesus, for your grace, your mercy, your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your word and your spirit in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? We may be seated. John chapter 16. Remember our message. If you know Jesus, you know life. If you know Jesus, you know what? If you know life, you know Jesus. Because Jesus is life. Life is Jesus. It is very easy for everyone to say, I am a child of God. If you say, Jesus is your father and you don't know him, what are you talking about? Because every mother and father knows the, the voice of their children. When your child is crying as a father, you know that that is my son, that is my daughter. Even children, when the father is calling them, they know that it is my father or my mother who is calling me. If you know your father, you know your family. John 16, verse 7. I'll, let's walk, but let me not uh, sin by saying I'll be very brief. And then at the end of the day, I'll go beyond what I said. John 16, verse 7. But very truly I tell you, it's for your good. I mean, it is for your good that I am going away. This is Jesus now talking. Unless I go away, the advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. Eight, when he comes, he will prove the world to be in the wrong about sin and the righteousness. Do you know that the world doesn't know sin or righteousness? Do you know that? Do you know that the world doesn't know sin or righteousness? Everything to the world, whether it is sin, is life. The world doesn't know sin. All what they know is life. This is why you see every government all over the world will support anything you call secular. There's nothing wrong. That is the standard of this world. God cannot support something which can destroy his children. But government will support things that can destroy and kill people. That is secular. There's nothing wrong. That is the standard of this world. And for you to prove the world wrong, unless if the advocate come upon your life, there you put a difference between the life of this world and the life in Jesus. Because in him, there is no sin. I am not against any government. Please quote me clearly. I'm telling you what is on the ground. There is no government here on earth who stand and say, no, no secular music. No. No. This is why you see night club. You see this, you see that. That is government to say, as long as people are working and get paid, there's nothing wrong. But the Osadana is busy killing people using those places. Come on. I, I, I hope you, you understand this. Do you understand this? Where are we? Let me, let me take you back again. Uh, this is verse 8. It's 8. When he comes, he will prove the world to be 
in the law about sin and righteousness. The world does not put a difference between sin and righteousness. Anything that can bring money to the world, it is fine. It is what? Fine. But if sin can bring money to human beings, to the side of Jesus, it is not fine. This is where now we need to draw the line. If you know life, you know Jesus. If you know Jesus, you know life. Let's continue. I think we jump from there to verse 9. About sin, because people do not believe in me. This is Jesus. I think for this one to be, uh, to be understood or understand, let me just start again from verse 8. When he comes, he will prove the world to be in the long. About sin and righteousness and judgment. About sin, because people do not believe in me. People do not believe in, they believe in their own stomach. They believe in their own things. They don't believe in Jesus. This is why you see people who are making money here on earth. It looks like uh, there are, 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 are people that you need to rely on and depend on and respect so much. But to the contrary, as a child of God, the real life is in Jesus. Money is not life. The same money that you are enjoying today, the same money can be used against you by Satan. There are people who are praying every day to be, you know, married. There's nothing wrong, but that is not life. If you marry today and tomorrow they turn you into a punching bag, are you going to enjoy that marriage? The answer is no. Education is not life. It's one of the blessings that you receive as a human being. In fact, it is a privilege for you to be educated. There are so many people who want to be educated. But for you to be educated, it is a privilege. It is not life. Life is Jesus. If education is life, why is it that even people educated are dying every day? The professor of this world, the scientist of this world. Meaning, education is one of the blessings. It's more like money. It's more like children. There are others who are crying for children. Okay, if today you become a mother and a father, what is next? Are you going to say now I'm in heaven? The answer is no. Because the truth is, even if you are counting money and you are living in sin, it doesn't mean that the life that you are living is a perfect life. It is only human beings who can admire your life because they need what? Money. God cannot admire your money or envy your life. All what he wants is to give you the best and the best is salvation. Because there is life after this life. Whether you are enjoying today or you are suffering today, think about that life after this one. People of God, if you deny this, you are denying yourself. If you don't know Jesus, anything that you see in front of you will mislead your future. You and me, we came from God. And it was him who brought you and me to this world. And he prepared a day again that you are going to leave this world. Going back to him. But to the contrary, you don't want to go back there. You want to enjoy this world, which is not possible. It's not possible. For you to enjoy this world without salvation, it's not possible. I remember one man of God was uh, talking about blessings. He said, if I say, if you cannot share your money with 
uh, poor people, the widows and the orphans. You are not blessed and you'll never be blessed. Then he said, I know that some of you, you have got friends who are not even Christians and they are rich people. Then he said, if you ask them, are you enjoying your money? The answer is no. Physically, you may see them enjoying what? Money, maybe drinking, driving vehicles. In the night when they are sleeping, they are sleeping with which doctors? They consult which doctors? Someone want to kill me. My friend want to do this. My uncle want to do this. My aunt want to do Why? Because you don't know life. All what you know is money. And money is not life. If you buy a vehicle, Yes, people will be saying, ah, Pamlenga number, eh, awe, eh, efidi hako number, eh, badine chipaso, badine nshi, badine jagwa, badine nshi. That is not life. Because the same praise that you are giving me, Satan will use that praise to give me plight. So that whenever I see you looking at me the way I'm driving, I'll put him off you well. And yet, I am not the one who is in control over this life. At the end of the day, you fail to negotiate the corner. The same vehicle that people are saying, no, will take your life. This is why material things are not life. They are one of the blessings which God might give to human beings. For you to appreciate the love of God, life is Jesus. Even in our marriage. Oh, Babo is working. Okay, he's a businessman. You can propose this one. This one will say, it's entirely up to you. This one is entirely up to you. This one is entirely up to you. This one, how many uh, women who are saying it's entirely up to you? And when you are walking, uh, you walk like uh, uh, the whole world now is, is on you. When your phone is ringing, you see this one, a brown one, a tall one, a fat one, a what? An accountant, a teacher, a police officer. That is not life. Those are problems. Because they will take your life. To you as a human being, because you don't know what is sin or righteousness. And when you talk about this righteousness, sometimes when you sit down as a child of God, I look at the people of this world. You see their behavior. They don't know that one day they are going to leave this world. And when, you know, Ngabafwa, they want to be Christians because Pastor Shani, Bafwa. No. No. You reap what you sow. There is no way you can reap candolo from maize. If you plant maize, the harvest will be what? Maize. If you plant tomato, the harvest will be what? Tomato. If you, you know that you, your place is nightclub, every night you are dancing, uh, you are enjoying, uh, you are doing what you are doing, and then at the end of the day, you want to share the righteousness of God Almighty, and yet you are standing in that corner of darkness? No. If you know Jesus, you know life. If you don't know Jesus, you don't know life. You live according to what you see. You live according to your standard, according to your salary, according to the money that you are counting, according to the level of your education. This is where now you see plight coming in to say, they don't know me. <laughs> Tell them. Uh, you should tell them, uh, let them know who I am. You are a human being. You need to know life. There is time for everything. There is time for everything. If you don't know this, it's better you know now. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's continue so that we finish this one. Verse 10. Is it 9 or 10? 10. The world doesn't believe in Jesus. But about righteousness, because I am going to the Father where you can see me no longer, 
This is Jesus now. He said, I am going to the Father. You are not going to see me again. Are you telling me that Jesus was talking to the world? Hmm? He was talking to the people who believed in him. Giving them the roadmap of life. This is why he said, I will send the advocate. Who is the advocate? The Holy Spirit. Because you don't know how to live here on earth. Sometimes in the Kula man that will under town number church station. Chapwa. A panum by fue. No man at Kulok song Kela to a fumamo. It doesn't mean that I'm a problem. No. It's one of the blessings that you need, you need to receive from your father. Praise the Lord. Let's continue. Verse 11. I mean, verse 12. Is it 11? And about the judgment, because place of this world now stands condemned. Who is the place of this world? Of course, you know him. It is Satan who misread the world, who controls the standard of this world. It's under condemned, meaning to those who believe in Jesus, Satan has no power over your life because he is condemned. And if he's condemned, he cannot condemn the righteousness of God Almighty in us. Since you know life, I mean you know Jesus, you cannot be condemned. The prince of this world is, stands, what? Condemned. So life is not what you think is life. Life is Jesus. There is no joy in our families, in our marriage. Even those who are educated or who rich people. The whole entire family are rich. You see problems. You can even pit them. One after the other. Hallelujah. Let's go to verse 12. I have much more to say to you. More than you can now bear. Let me jump this one. But when he, the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth. He will not speak on his own. He will, he will speak only what he hears. Hear from where? From Jesus. Even the Holy Spirit cannot function without the name Jesus. If you know Jesus, you know the Holy Spirit. If you know Jesus, you know God the Father. You know Jehovah Yahweh. You know God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay, so listen to this again. But when he, the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth. He will not speak on his own. He will speak only what he hear. And he will tell you what yet to come. What is yet to come. If you know Jesus, people of God, you know what is next. You understand every present situation. Because Jesus is life. Who understands every problem. Who knows how to solve our problem. There are Christians when they are in pain. They will not think that we are Christians. They will leave the town where they know them that they are Christians. To go to another town to consult the witch doctor. Because they don't know life. All what they know is to enjoy this life. Sometimes, you know, someone could be a Christian for years and years. Then at the end of your journey, because Satan has afflicted you with that pain, he will use that pain to make you lose what? Salvation. You need to know this. He will tell you, guide you in all, all the truth. Do you know the truth? Do you know the truth? God is not very far from you and me. He's very close, more than our relatives. In fact, anywhere where you go, he's there. Even in, inside the toilet, he'll be there with you. Where your mother, your father, your children cannot enter, Jesus is there. 
Because Satan has enough fire more opportunities. But your point is that apakabidi apa. Sometimes in the church, yes, because of the environment, you may think like uh, immediately you leave the church, you are no longer a Christian. You are no longer a child of God. You become another creature because you don't know what is life. And when you receive from Jesus, people of God, that is where the problem is. We don't know how to live according to his word. Because we want to live according to what we know that this is the way. There you made a mistake. You can receive healing today. Deliverance today. As long as you don't know the Jesus, it is possible that that healing or deliverance will be nullified by the standard of this world. Sometimes people would be delivered and healed. They will not come for testimony. No. I'm healed. Why giving testimony? You don't know that when you give testimony, your life is sealed with his presence. If you cannot give that testimony, you don't know life. It is plied in you to say, in fact, I'm okay. So, Jesus is what? Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor. If you know Jesus, you know life. Say, if you know Jesus, you know life. Yes. If you know Jesus, you know life. Even if you see money today, money will not change your mind. How many people who used to count money, at the end of the day, they die poor? Today, you can see that you are working. You are a miner. You are a teacher. You are a lawyer. You are a doctor. You are what? And because of that money, you think, ah, this is my life. I know how to live. As we balance everything, you know, when you eat in Shima, you need to eat a kahapo, a banana. That is not life. That is science. That is what? Science. Are you telling me that those who balance their dead, they don't die? How many people that you have buried? Rich people. You enter their sitting room, and the first thing that will greet you is the basket of bananas and apple. You open the fridge, all kinds of drinks. Hmm? Here, bushmeat, here is what, here is what, here is what. Enter the house, you see how many people are sick. Including the owner. If you see the owner, you pity the owner of the house. Uh, 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 uh. And it's the owner. Look at the food inside. Look at the vehicles. Look at the house. The owner cannot even enjoy. He doesn't even know what is a, a sweet or chicken or meat. Everything is sour. For him to swallow just a, a spoon. Mm. Just a teaspoon. Here porridge. Custard. Here banana. Mm. You don't say itika. And people are passing that as Mmm. Kwena pa. Which blessing are you talking about? The owner is crying inside you. Outside you are saying, hmm? That is not life. Like someone with Jesus, even your departure here on earth will be very smooth. If truly you are such a person, the way you are going to live this world, very peaceful and very smooth. Not where you were counting money, the end of your journey becomes so painful. King David died in the hands of a virgin. What a peaceful way to live this world. An old man, a virgin was there to look after this king. He was enjoying his life. And he died peacefully. Today you are counting money and you become big-headed. Ah, go and look at your grandfather the way he died. He died as a poor man. As long as you don't know Jesus, your end will be a disaster. Your end will be painful. Those who know Jesus, even the time you know to leave this world, you, you gather people to say, please, I want to bless you. You are even laughing. What do you know about life? What do you know about life? No, this is the life that we are living. This is the life that we are living. 
Life is Jesus. Life is not money. Life is not, you know, you enter shop like 20 times. And you think it's life? You wear a very short, uh, uh, how do you call this one? Uh, uh, short. Uh, you wear it, you are pushing a trolley to, you, you, you are putting things on that basket. Do you know what you are putting there without Jesus? Sickness. Disease. You put sausage, sickness. You put banana, sickness. Whatever you put there, Satan will put his own problem to say, who told you to enjoy this life? People will see you as a wealth man, but they will put problems inside your body. But if Jesus is in you, there is nothing wrong to go to shop like 20 times. Because even those who are there will enjoy your presence. Even if street kids will enjoy your presence, they will eat from your hands. Unlike the life that we are living. The Bible says that when the spirit of truth comes upon you, it will guide you in all the truth so that you too you become the truth. There are so many things that I can share with you. But because of time, my message is always like this. Simple so that you and me, we understand. Mm. If you know Jesus, you know life. When you receive these blessings, you become Jesus by yourself. No one can talk about your life. You know what you are doing. You become sarcastic. You become stubborn. That is not life. There is time for everything. Learn to be humble and learn that Jesus is life. Your education is not life. It is Jesus who is life. Praise the Lord. The, if Jesus can say, the spirit will tell you, not on his own. Meaning, the communication between you and Jesus is the Holy Spirit. If you know Jesus, the Holy Spirit knows you and you know the Holy Spirit. I am not saying everyone should, must be a prophet. This is where now the problem is. No. Every child of God has been given that spirit of discernment. Where you know when God is talking to you. Even in your dream, the type of dreams that you'll be having will interpret your personal relationship with Jesus. The spirit of God will not speak on his own. But you, human being, you want to stand on your own. If the Holy Spirit cannot stand on his own, you human beings, you want to stand on your own. Are you greater than the Holy Spirit? It's Bible. If you are not greater than the Holy Spirit, why are you trying to be like your father in heaven? The Spirit of God cannot speak on his own. He will receive the word from God Almighty. Go and deliver this message. He will come with power to deliver the message. Boom. And you go back again. He will not remain here to say, no, I will remain here. I will be working alone. Ah, they are not like that. The way we see to our leaders, politicians, the one who was very loyal to uh, this president, tomorrow you see him is having his own what? Place breathing. I therefore, I consulted, consulted. The Holy Spirit does not consult human beings. This is why you see problems all over the world. Because there is no oneness in this world. What can make this world to be one is Jesus alone. That's all. He will make you to love your brother and care for your brother because you understand life and you know life. Are you there? Let me conclude this one so that you... This is verse 15. All that belongs to the Father is mine. That's why I say it. The Spirit will receive from me what will make him to be, what will make what will make known to you? I'm sure I, this is, I'm using a knife. I don't know if uh, what I'm reading here is what you are reading there. That's why I said the spirit will receive from me what will make known to you. 
He is not speaking on his own. He is receiving instruction from Jesus. Tell my people this. Tell that family this. Go and tell Mlenga this. Tell him not to be this. Tell him to be humble. I'll be humble. Why should I be proud? I've been instructed to be humble. Tell him to play today. He should not eat anything. And they are cooking chicken. They are cooking what you like. You eat that food, your stomach will be turning. Ah. Look at you. What you hear from above is more than what you hear from people. The Spirit of God does not speak on his own. Why do you want to stand on your own? Because you have got money. Because you are educated. Because you know science. There is nothing wrong to be educated, people of God. It is a privilege for someone to be educated. It is what? A privilege. It doesn't mean that you are equal to God. No. Life is Jesus. Go to town where you see big, big mansions with security outside. Those security people, they can only manage to restrict human beings. Not Satan. Satan is inside. He is in control. Beating them 24-7. A security guard is outside. Doing nothing. <laughs> and you think they are protecting you. What can kill you? You cannot see them with your eyes. They are already inside. Go and ask them, how many people are sleeping on the bed? Hmm? You bought this mattress where you just put on a power. When it is caught, uh, you home your bed. But Satan has said, no, you cannot sleep on this bed. You will be sleeping on the floor. But people are passing your yard. They are saying, hmm, this house. And the security guard is there. Doing nothing. Getting money every day. Satan is killing you. Employ Jesus to be your security guard. Jesus will be inside and outside. He will control everything, whether spiritual or physical. He will ask Satan, what are you looking for? I am in charge. Sorry, sir. He will run away. But if you employ a human being, he will stand here. Hmm? And Satan will just push him. He feel like, but I can't put in. So it is Satan has entered the house. Hmm? Who will be standing outside with him, ready with a gun. You hear that uh, the leader is having a stroke inside the house. Ah. Life is Jesus. Life is what? Without Jesus, there is no life. Whether you sleep under mosquito net, malaria will enter your body. It is only Jesus. When you marriage, not to marry, you will not be able to let me end there. Thank you. God bless you.